Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to show how, how you can uh, dynamically show or hide screens based on, based on the user's permission sets. So basically uh, the requirement is something like this. I have a create renewal opportunity action and this is, this is using a flow. Um, now only certain users are also able to update a field called delivery installation status on opportunity and the field all the users are on the same profile they are all using the same button meaning the same flow but only certain users should be able to go to this screen where it is nothing but just a pick list value of delivery status and all the users should not be able to edit this so obviously the answer is we have to use permission set and um, first of all using per hide this field delivery style installation field from all the users by using profile hide it and then create a permission set to give access to this field. That is a straightforward um, admin stuff. But now how do, you, how do you make sure that only the users who have delivery status permission set sees this, um, this screen? So to do that, um, you will use something called custom permissions. And if you haven't heard about custom permissions, it is something that mostly developers use while building an app. And using custom permissions let, lets them dynamically um, show or hide certain components in the app using using permission sets. So let's see how to build a custom permission. It is very easy, it's not as complicated as it sounds. So we're just gonna do it here. I'm gonna go to setup and type custom permissions. Custom permissions and it's right there and name it something so it's called delivery installation permission all right um and save it now once you have created the custom permissions also add that to a permission set. So custom permissions by itself won't do anything. You will need to add it to a permission set so that you can assign it to the users because you directly can't assign permission set. Um, sorry, you cannot directly assign custom permissions. So I'm gonna say delivery installation permission set and I'm just gonna leave it generic. I'm not gonna assign any license. Um, now once you are in this page, if you have noticed there is custom permissions in the permission set. So that's what we're going to do. Click on that and edit it. And it will literally list all the custom permissions that's in your org. And this is what we want. Play the custom permissions and save it. And uh, just so we test it, um, in, real, uh, in ideal scenario, in real world scenario, you will actually assign it to a user which is not an admin, but in, in my case, since I'm the admin, I'm just gonna assign it to myself. So it is just like assigning a standard permission set. So literally we're just assigning the permission set and that permission set contains uh, the custom permissions. Also we need to assign I have a lot of permissions um, and we forgot to assign that um, particular field also since I'm an admin I already have access but usually you would need to go to the opportunity and assign that access I think this is the one okay and we just check that field Save it. So that part is um, pretty straightforward. I just wanted to show you the custom permission creation if you don't have a background on that. Um, and now let's go back to the flow builder. I'm just gonna refresh it once so we, it has the custom permissions. And so first of all, we need a decision element here. The moment you talk about showing and hiding based on certain criteria, you definitely need a decision element to check if that person has that custom permission or not. So we're just gonna pull decision element here. 
and check if permission available and make sure you give description um, delivery permission set so and here we are going to create a new formula field that's that's how we are gonna get that custom permission so I'm just gonna say delivery permission enabled and the data type for this would be boolean because that's how custom permission works it's just gonna literally check on the user if the custom permission is enabled and give access so I'm going to say here you can actually search for this is what I wanted to show you um, if you go to permission dollar permission and this is where you'll find all the custom permissions on your org so delivery installation permission so that's it basically this is going to check if that user has that ac access to that permission and hit done so now we're gonna say since we just created delivery permission enabled equals true so basically if your after you your create new opportunity that is accessible by all the users we're gonna check if that user has access to that permission and if it does if the user does have access then we take them to that delivery permission screen permission set and if they don't, they directly go to that create opportunity. Default. So that's the default outcome. You can also actually name the default outcome. So I'm just going to say general users. So that's for general users. I'm just going to rearrange it right here. So if they have permission, they go to this window, and after this window, you still need to create the opportunity, right? And in the opportunity records, in, along with other fields, we also want to add delivery permission field, delivery installation, and this field will be the screen element of that. And I think I named it... delivery status that's my screen component Hit done and it should automatically take care of opportunity create everything else remains the same if you have questions on this uh, please go back uh, watch clone uh, opportunity video on my playlist and that's about it so we save it and it's just a uh, heads up that you need to be in lightning runtime. All right, so time to test this. Now I already assigned that permissions to myself, so I should be good. So if I go to debug, I'm not gonna go through the entire process, I'm just gonna go to debug and actually grab an opportunity ID and pop it here, run. That's my first one, probably didn't have an account and hit next it should show me that window in progress perfect so now I have that what if I go back to my user record and remove that permission set the permission set that's actually carrying the custom permission so I'm going to remove that permission set altogether save it and exit out of this and I'm going to debug it again run now it should not show me that window there so it it kind of skipped that window and directly took me to that opportunity has successfully been created window so this is how you actually can control what users see even if they are same profile they're using the same button but they have different permission set so custom permissions it can be accessible using flow also 
and the way you do that is using a formula field within the flow. I hope that was helpful for you guys and uh, let me know if you have any other questions um, or any other videos that you want to watch. Thank you so much for watching.